Okay, um, this module two, uh, a big part of it is choosing your uh, environment that you want to use for your uh, blended model and to uh, begin a, a lesson. And uh, one, I know a lot of students or, or a lot of us have been asking, teachers have been asking um, how or what should they use. And I see that sometimes schools have limitations. Um, one that has always worked for me that I just wanted to, to make sure people were aware of is using Google tools and apps, but uh, there is a Google site tool. Uh, basically, it looks like this when you first set it up, and if you want to find it when you're in Google, you always go to, you have to go to more, and then go down to even more, and then you'll scroll down, and underneath home and office, there will be an area that's called sites, and if you click on sites, it'll give you the option of creating a new site. And all you do is create a new site. If you want a template, use a template. I don't. I always start with a blank one. Give it a name. It will give you a URL. Select a theme, however you want it to look. Um, and once you're done, put your security code in. It'll automatically create the website. Now, I'm not going to create a new one. I'll just take you to one that I've uh, just started working on, actually, uh, and kind of give you an idea of how that works. Um, Here's one I'm just starting to set up and link to my big homepage for my AP uh, biology class for next year. So I'm starting to work on this now, so a lot of the things will be ready uh, for resources and such for next year. Um, but if you want to make a new page, you simply click this button, and this will make a sub page, and you can tell them where you want it. You can put it at the top or underneath another page. I'm going to cancel that because I have some sub pages made already. But once you've made your sub page, if you go to the edit tool you can actually link in this case unit one cells in the chemistry of life if I insert a link I could link this to a URL and go outside of the page but if I want to link it somewhere in the page I can actually drill in and say okay I want to link it to this sub page that I've already made I could have it open in a new link but that'll get messy so I'm not going to have it do that and if I hit OK and save now when students click on unit one uh, cells in the chemistry of life it will bring up this page that I have set up for information for that particular unit and I can make sub pages under this and keep going as far as I want link um, insert uh, documents Google Docs insert really well and they actually show up right on the uh, actual page I'll show you that real quick we'll go to Google or insert uh, let's go to document you can also quickly just paste in a YouTube video as well and it'll show up. Uh, I've done that on our support page already but um, if you click on a document it will take you to your Google Docs or your Google Drive and so if I wanted to let's say insert uh, what do I want to insert how about oh there's a lab we'll just, I'll just insert it just to show you and then I'll delete it go ahead and insert that it'll actually show and you can't see it now but as soon as I save it it'll actually show that document if it's in Google Docs right in the website okay then you'll, you'll be able to see it right on your page and so there's a lot of different activities you can put online this way and have your students access going paperless and uh, a great way to start using not only uh, interactive blended lessons but also uh, be able to have a home base for your class and have a face for your classroom as well, which is a huge step uh, for any teacher to be able to develop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording now and